egg spot. For this project, we'll need a small Phillips head screwdriver and a flat head screwdriver. Before we begin, I always remove the battery and AC adapter. Unscrew the two screws below the battery that hold down the power button cover to the base assembly. Unscrew the two screws that hold the display assembly to the base assembly. Loosen the three screws and remove the single retaining screw holding down the access door. Lift and remove the access door. Unscrew the wireless door cover. Lift and remove. Disconnect the antenna wires from the mini PCI wireless cards. And remove the antenna wires from the bottom routing channels. Unscrew the single wireless card retaining screw. Slide the wireless card out of the slot. With your fingers, separate the clips on each side of the memory stick until the memory lifts up. Gently pull the memory stick away from the memory slot. Loosen the five heat sink screws. Unplug the heat sink fan from the motherboard. Lift and remove the heat sink from the motherboard. Using a flathead screwdriver, turn the CPU locking screw counterclockwise to loosen the CPU. Lift the CPU away from the motherboard. Remove the four screws securing the hard drive caddy to the base assembly. Slide the hard drive away from the base assembly. Remove the six screws holding the touchpad palm rest to the bottom base. Unplug the CMOS battery from the motherboard. Flip the laptop over, open the display assembly and flatten it out as much as possible. Carefully lift the center control media button cover away from the base. You should start unsnapping it at the LCD display side, being very careful not to lift too fast as there is a cable attached. Remove the two screws holding down the keyboard. Gently lift the keyboard but be very cautious about the cable connected underneath the keyboard and to the motherboard latch. Carefully lift the cable latch and unhook the keyboard cable. Carefully slide the power button cover cable latch and remove the power button cover cable. Unsnap and remove the hinge covers. Disconnect the camera cable, LCD cable, and the wireless antenna wires from the upper routing channels. Remove the left and right hinge screws. Lift and remove the LCD assembly away from the base. Remove the seven screws that hold down the touchpad palm rest to the base assembly. Unplug the touchpad ribbon cable.
Lift the palm rest away from the base. Disconnect the power button cable from the motherboard. Remove the single retaining screw holding down the power button circuit board to the base assembly. Remove the four screws holding down the optical drive to the base assembly. Lift the optical drive out of the base assembly and disconnect the cable. Remove the three screws holding down the express card slot to the base assembly. Disconnect the express card slot from the motherboard, lift and remove. Unplug the Bluetooth cable and speaker cable from the motherboard. Unplug the Wi-Fi catcher switch cable from the motherboard. Remove the three screws holding down the motherboard to the base. Remove the motherboard starting from the back, lifting all the way to the front. Remove the single retaining screw holding down the power charger USB circuit board. Replace the power charger USB circuit board, secure it with the single retaining screw. Replace the motherboard, secure it with the three screws to hold it down to the base. Plug the Bluetooth cable and speaker cable into the motherboard. Plug the Wi-Fi catcher cable into the motherboard. Plug the express card assembly firmly into the motherboard. Secure it with the three screws. Connect the optical drive cable to the optical drive. Place the optical drive into the base assembly. Secure the optical drive with the four screws. Seat the power button circuit board onto the base assembly, secure it with the single retaining screw. Connect the power button circuit board cable to the motherboard. Place the palm rest onto the base and snap down the edges. Replace the seven screws that hold down the touchpad palm rest to the base. Connect the touchpad ribbon cable. Place the LCD display assembly onto the base assembly. Screw in the left and right hinge screws.
Reroute the antenna wires, LCD display cable, and camera cable. Connect the camera cable and LCD display cable. Pull the antenna wires through the motherboard and remove it from the upper routing channels. Replace the display hinge covers. Place the power button cover cable into the connector and slide the cable latch over to secure the cable. Install the keyboard cable into the connector, press down on the latch. Lay the keyboard into the base and secure it with the two screws. Snap the power button cover to the base. Close and flip the laptop over. Plug the CMOS battery into the motherboard. Place the six screws to secure the touchpad palm rest to the base. Align the key pins on the CPU and set it into the CPU socket. Turn the CPU locking screw clockwise to secure the CPU. Place the heatsink and fan onto the motherboard. Screw down the heatsink screws in the sequential order shown on the heatsink. Plug the fan into the motherboard. Place the memory stick into the memory slot so that the cutout matches. Do this at a 45 degree angle and push down firmly until you hear a click. Seat the wireless card into the slot and screw down the single retaining screw. Slide the hard drive into the base assembly, secure it with the four screws. Reroute the antenna wires through the bottom routing channels. Connect them to the PCI wireless cards. Place the wireless access door cover. Tighten down the single retaining screw. Replace the bottom base access door cover. Tighten down the three screws and replace the single retaining screw. Replace the two hinge screws that hold down the display assembly to the base assembly. 
Replace the two screws under the battery that hold down the power button cover to the base assembly. Replace the battery. We hope you found this tutorial useful. All parts discussed in this tutorial can be found at partspeople.com.